Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel. In this video, we are going to compare two top processors, the Intel Core i9-9900K and the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, as well as test their performance in modern games. The difference in price of these processors is small. The Intel model will cost you about 10% more, however, their prices may vary depending on the particular supplier of the goods. You can find out the current cost of processors by clicking on the links in the description box below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell, so you will always be the first to watch new reviews and comparisons on the channel. So, the 3900X has the Zen 2 architecture and belongs to the third generation Ryzen processor series. The i9-9900K is based on the modern Coffee Lake refresh and it belongs to the core i9 line. The Ryzen processor has retained capability with the current AM4 socket, which is undoubtedly a big plus for owners of motherboards with 300 and 400 series chipsets. The i9-9900K is also equipped with a quite familiar socket, which is the LGA 1151. The i9-9900K cooling system remained typical. It has only 95 watts, since Intel hasn't really announced the detailed energy consumption of their CPUs for a long time. 95 watts is just the recommended minimum. In reality, the processor can easily consume more than 125 watts without its motherboard interference. As for Ryzen, the 3900X has a minimum power consumption of 105 watts. Let's take a closer look at the characteristics of these models. The Ryzen 9 3900X is a truly unique processor with 12 cores of 64 megabytes of L3 cache and 105W of heat path. You get all this at a very good price. The starting frequency of the processor is 3800 MHz and the maximum can reach 4600 MHz. The number of PCI Express lanes is 24. I would like to note that the AMD engineers created a powerful processor from two CCD chipsets, which will be very difficult to complete in terms of the basic characteristics of the Intel model. Another feature of the 3900X is its quite high frequencies. Usually processors with a large number of cores get lower clock speeds, but this is not a case. Therefore, the Ryzen processor performs well in multi-threaded applications and under standard load with a limited number of cores running. As for the i9-9900K, it is the flagship of the ninth generation of Intel processors. The model has the advanced Coffee Lake architecture and 14nm process technology. There are 8 cores and 16 threads, as well as an increased cache of all levels, when compared to the previous models. The base frequency is limited to 3.6 GHz, but the cores can also work in the range from 4.7 to 5 GHz. Such characteristics are really impressive, aren't they? Judging by all the above, both processors should provide high FPS in modern games with ultra-high graphics settings. Well, let's check it now. Let's see how our top processors show themselves in games. The Ryzen 9 3900X will work with the ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Hero motherboard, while the Intel Core i9-9900K will be with the ASRock Z390 Tai Chi motherboard. We use the custom GeForce RTX 2080 Tai graphics card in all configurations. As usual, we tested the processor work at the maximum graphics settings, so you can fully appreciate the performance of these models. Metro Exodus is a first-person shooter game released in February 2019 by Deep Silver. This is the third game in the Metro series which was based on the novels by Dmitry Glukovsky. The story takes us to the post-apocalyptic world of the Russian Federation and the Republic of Kazakhstan. The player will face new dangers, confront many mutants and other hostile groups. As you can see, the Ryzen processor in full HD resolution is 50% less than the i9-9900K. 
The difference is not so noticeable in 2K resolution. It is 7%. By the way, you can find all the current prices for these processors by clicking on the links in the description below. Battlefield 5 is a multiplayer, first-person shooter from Electronic Arts, released in May 2018. The plot tells about the times of the Second World War. There are several small atmospheric stories about not well-known battles, forgotten heroes, inconspicuous but important victories. As for testing, both models showed approximately the same result. The i9-9900K is 5% better in Full HD, but the Ryzen 9 3900X was 1% ahead of its opponent in 2K resolution. Both models provided smooth gameplay. There were no serious drawdowns. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the final part of the adventure trilogy of the legendary Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, released by Canadian studio Eidos Montreal in September 2018. The processors produced approximately the same result with a little difference. You can see the test results on the screen. The Division 2 is a third-person shooter with the French company Ubisoft, released in March 2019. The story takes place six months after the disaster in snowy New York, which was described in the first part of this game series. Now the main character is sent to the headquarters of the government, to the White House, which has lost its previous status for an indefinite period of time. Chaos and lawlessness are happening in Washington. The player is going to take a role of the local sheriff and try to bring the distraught city back to order. As for the tests, the i9-9900K has an obvious advantage in full HD resolution. Its result is 183 frames versus 143 FPS for the Ryzen model. As for their results in 2K resolution, the processors show almost the same results. It is an average of 126 FPS for the i9-9900K and 127 FPS for the Ryzen 9 3900X. Far Cry New Dawn is a post-apocalyptic shooter for Ubisoft, released in February 2019. New Dawn continues the story of Far Cry 5. The player has to confront the powerful gang of thugs again. Along the way, you'll do many different tasks in the already familiar Hope District, which slowly began to recover after a nuclear strike. The tests show the advantage of the Intel processor. The FPS gap is 12% in Full HD, and 13% in 2K resolution in favor of the Intel model. So, let's have a look at the results. Until recently, few could imagine that a 12-core processor available to the mass consumer would appear on the market, but AMD made the dreams of many users a reality. At the same time, a large number of computing cores is not an attempt to compensate for insufficient single-threaded performance or high delays when working with data. On the contrary, thanks to the Zen 2 microarchitecture, the AMD engineers have made significant progress in all areas. The Ryzen 9 3900X performs well under loads of almost any kind. As practice shows, the AMD flagship performs work tasks noticeably faster than the 8-core Core i9-9900K, which has about the same price. However, if we compare their gaming performance, the Ryzen 9 3900X won't be the best choice. This processor is not faster than its relatives with fewer cores. Therefore, if you are planning a gaming assembly, you can save a lot if you choose an 8 or even a 6-core processor from the Ryzen 3000 line. This will not affect the frame rate much, although AMD is moving towards increasing the gaming performance of its new chips. The Ryzen 9 3900X is still slower than the same core i9-9900K in this segment. Of course, the lag isn't critical, but the difference is still noticeable. Therefore, the Ryzen 9 3900X can be considered an ideal option for work. 
If the games are your priorities, then the Core i9-9900K would be a much better choice. What do you think about this? Which processor did you like more and why? Write your thoughts in the comments and I will definitely answer you. You also can suggest options for the following comparisons or reviews. This is the end of this video. Subscribe to the channel, click on the bell and don't forget to like this video. See you next time on the Technodog channel. Bye.